What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Um, jump right on to it. Uh, when I asked about Mikey Garcia um, sizing up with Lomachenko, uh, Bob Aram said that uh, Mikey Garcia will quit like the rest of them. Um, do I share that? I don't I don't know, to be honest. Um, if somebody referred to you know Mikey Garcia quitting versus Orlando Salido, I, th- I think he broke his nose through the head butts and his brother, uh, Robert Garcia, um, you know, pulled him, made him stop the fight or, you know, whatever happened, you know. Um, so people are saying, you know, he showed a sign of weakness uh, there. But at the, um, yeah, at the end of the day, he dropped Slito like 10 times, you know what I'm saying? Um, and Slito kept coming. He was a tough warrior. If you want to, you know, consider a dude getting a win or quit and finding a way out, then, you know, it's your prerogative. Um, you know, he's been very vocal to wanting to fight with Salah Machenko. A lot of people... You know, now going to react to, you know, Lomachenko saying that he wants to fight Mikey Garcia or whatever now. But, um, you know, Mikey had wanted to fight him a long time. And Lomachenko got to talking some junk about him. And Mikey went up to, they both was whatever, uh, at ESPN's campus. And Mikey Garcia pulled up on him. Like, what's good, bro? You know, you talking all that riffraff. And Lomachenko looked kind of shocked that Mikey pulled up on him. And the point that I'm making here is Mikey Garcia has the attitude. He has the camp. Um, he has, you know, everything that you need to um, to have to be successful versus Lomachenko. You know, um, a lot of people point, oh, he didn't want the Gamboa fight. When you go around listening to Bob Aaron about what particular fighters didn't want that fight, usually you get that when that particular fighter doesn't want to fight with top rank or when they lead top rank. So I don't... I don't read much into that, you know, um, you know, style wise, Mikey can do some things. Mikey has, he's Mexican. He has a Mexican blood. He knows how to, he, sh- you know, he should know. And I'm pretty sure Robert, his big G and all of them know how they should fight uh, Lomachenko. And other people are overhyping Lomachenko now um, to yesterday. And I'll speak on that in the next video. But Mikey would know what to do with him. Um, could he execute his game plan? I don't know. Mikey showed to be a very powerful guy, even at 140 versus Adrian Broner. And people were talking about the way Adrian Broner moved and Mikey couldn't handle Lomachenko movement. Um, aggressive aggressive fighters, um, you know, erase angles. Smart fighters erase angles. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like Mayweather did with Pacquiao. Pacquiao couldn't get those angles because Mayweather was a, a master of of distance and he controlled the pace. And in my opinion, Lomachenko wasn't even five or two percent the offensive fighter that Manny Pacquiao is, and Manny Pacquiao ain't even five or two two percent the defensive fighter that Lomachenko is. Everything Lomachenko's game is built off his his defense, his footwork, being in position. His defense is everything. His offense is whack Arnold's man. I'm gonna be real with you. He he has no good offense. Everything is done defensively and with the feet. Um, he pity pass with his punches. He doesn't really have a go to punch. Where you be like, oh, Floyd and Bernard got the right hand, or Oscar got the left hook, Tito Trinidad got the left hook that'll knock you out. That's not that. He mentally frustrates people with his feet, with his distance, and his and you not being able to hit him in his in his defense. That's it. Offensively, you're not really worried about nothing coming at you. You know the floor is gonna come at you, but it's the all it's the angles in the defense. A lot of people don't understand what I'm saying, but you know, you will see in, in due time. Well, Mikey would have to it, it it depends how Mikey would approach the fight. Let me say that. Um, it definitely would be a good fight, but I think if I'm Mikey Garcia, I push for that fight to be at 140 a little bit more, um, in my opinion. I, you know, and I'm hearing he going to 140 fight Omar Figueroa. People saying it's 147. Figueroa is going down to 40. Just because Figueroa fought at 147 last time doesn't mean that he was coming off a long layoff. He didn't want to cut all that weight down, so he made a pit stop at 147. He says he's going back down to 140. So, um, but he could be going to 147, but I, last time I heard it was 140. And um, that'd be interesting fight for Mikey. Um, at one, I thought one thirty five, Mikey showed good, but Mikey hasn't even really got back and got to his his uh his real form. You know, back to that lubricated, wiry, loose. You know, guy that's that's been active. He fought a couple times this year. Uh, came back versus uh the, the one guy lightweight. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't even think he's back active like he wants to be. Um. I really can call it. I don't want to say I favor one person or another without watching the the tape, um, but um, it'll be a difficult fight for me to call, man. You know, to break down 
Um, a lot of people just, you know, overreacting to Lomachenko, just knowing that he has a jump out weight class or possibly two weight classes if you want Mikey Garcia. That 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 would be that would be difficult, you know, in my opinion. Very, very difficult um for him. Um I think he just enjoys the size advantage in the last two weight classes. He really do. Everybody he fought is not so much the skill advantage. It's, it's a lot to do with the skill, but he he enjoys a lot of a size advantage over people and the quickness advantage and and all that. And he has a skill advantage, but when you get size and skill and physical advantages, I mean, he's uh, immortal down there. He's unbeatable versus some of those guys. And some of those guys, none of those guys down there are top pound-for-pound pound type fighters, other than Rigadal, who jumped up two weight classes, who was done on the pound-for-pound pound list, in my opinion, which I will be dropping tomorrow, um, my end-of-the-year pound-for-pound list, and, uh, along with the David Lemieux and Billy Joe Saunders breakdown prediction. But uh, let me know what y'all think who will win this fight. We gone.